Ghana and Vietnam have been instants before as neck and neck in the race for economic development. Both countries are in the World Bank's lower middle income group, and for several years past they have recorded very similar GNI per capita data. In 2014, however Vietnam appears to have pulled a little ahead, being in 144th position in the world rankings on 890, compared to Ghana in 150th position on 620. They are very different countries in many respects, but one of the first characteristics observed by travelers is the nature of taxi drivers and the quality of service they provide. All taxis in Ghana are standard saloon cars with yellow painted wings since a minister of transport in the first government of Kwame Bruma enacted the law and his wife imparted a large consignment of the appropriate pain. In Vietnam, taxis are standard saloon cars painted in delivery of numerous companies, but as in Ghana, many do not sport an illuminated taxi sign on the roof, which can be confusing to the hailer, especially at night. Ghanaians are highly gregarious, and this is reflected in the behavior of taxi drivers. Not only do they enjoy talking to their passengers in English and in local dialects, but they drive with open windows to hail all passing friends and acquaintances and to buy refreshments from wayside vendors. It is normal practice to try to run with a full taxi by picking up all available passengers and delivering them to their various destinations in turn. If one needs the exclusive use of a taxi it must be chartered at a special rate. Standard journeys are charged at a standard rate, and until recently, most taxis did not use a meter. In general, Vietnamese taxi drivers cannot communicate with foreign passengers and remain silent throughout the journey apart from frequent calls on their mobile telephones. Even with Vietnamese passengers, they often say very little. They drive with closed windows and air conditioning and all taxis carry a meter in easy view of the passenger. Drivers in both countries like to play music as they drive and one suspects that in the past the music would have been very different. However today, the same popular music is played everywhere in the world. Most taxi drivers are aggressive and drive too fast, often ignoring traffic signals and road restrictions, and this is so in Ghana and Vietnam. However in both countries, taxis are severely restrained by traffic conditions. In Ghana the roads are jammed by four-wheeled vehicles of all types and size but in Vietnam the taxis pull out through a sea of small motorcycles. The traffic is different, but the effect is often the same. Total gridlock. So it is not surprising that taxi drivers get frustrated and it is pleasing to report that in both countries there is a minority of careful drivers who can negotiate the chaos without putting undue stress on their passengers' heart.